Hey Matador fans, this is Casey Moran, radio voice of the women's volleyball team here at Cal State Northridge. Behind me is Casey Hinger getting her last workout for the big game tomorrow night against Colorado State at the Galen Center. NCAA tournament. We are ready for this. She is ready for this. We're going to go talk to Casey. Here with star junior middle blocker Casey Hinger. Casey, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. I'm just stoked because our names are both Casey and I'm excited to do this interview. It's going to be a lot of yeah, fun. Nice. <laughs> Speaking of being stoked, how stoked are you for this big NCAA tournament that CSUN is in and you're playing Colorado State tomorrow at the Galen Center? We're thrilled, man. We worked so hard. All three years that I've been here, we've been pushing for this moment and we're finally here and we're in the gym, you know, constantly. We're doing weights, we're doing video, we're studying them, we're studying what we can do better, exposing our strengths and everything. And we're just, we're ready to go. We're ready to fight for this. You talked about three years being here. Your first year, you had an outstanding freshman campaign. How have you grown since that year, both mentally and physically? And how has that transpired to the player and person you are today? Um, I think mentally, just coming in as a freshman, you're kind of just like happy to be here, like out of high school. but. Um, I think I've grown, I found like a new, I guess, passion for the game and just getting more focused on it and really um, perfecting, I shouldn't say perfected because I'm not, but <laughs> like really bettering each skill that I do. So like for example, I've been able to get more opportunities passing this year and being able to play back row and stuff like that and that's always been really important to me is just being a well-rounded player. So just really focusing on that and then like I said, physically passing and stuff and getting those and maybe jumping a little higher is pretty nice too. <laughs> You know, athletes are known to be superstitious, you know, a lot of baseball players, but is there anything you do before a game, if it's listening to a specific song or artist or, you know, the way you tie a shoe or, you know, touch a chair or whatever it is, there's something you do before a game that gets Casey Hanger pumped up to go out there and, and play as dominant as you do? Um, the biggest, I guess, superstition thing I have is I have, well, I have pink shoelaces, but I have this little broken pink hair tie on my shoe that Sam Call actually gave me our freshman year for no reason and I just tied it on there one game and I've just kept it on there ever since you know every time I switch shoes I make sure I put it on there it's just kind of a symbol of like I don't know I guess our team unity and everything and I make sure that that's on my shoe and in the right place and as for music my team always makes fun of me because I really like sad songs so I'll <laughs> listen to sad songs before a game and they're all like that's not gonna get you pumped but I don't know I guess it kind of like calms the nerves for me and gets me really focused. Sure. You know, last question, Case, why is this 2013 women's Matador team the team to beat in the NCAA tournament? Uh, I think because we want it. I think we have a lot to fight for this year. You know, we're going into this as a total underdog, and, you know, we're not. We're a strong team. We can compete with these teams, and we, we can prove that to them. So we're just, all of our heart is in this right now, and we're, we're gunning for it. Thank you so much. Good luck, and I'll see you at the Galen Center.
Thank <laughs> you.